Neighborhoods that are more walkable tend to be more densely populated. And they tend to be zoned so that there's retail and other services within the neighborhood. So there's more places people can reach on foot. In less walkable suburban neighborhoods, stores and services are harder to reach on foot. People usually have to drive to get places. It seems that neighborhoods that are more walkable and, and are designed to make it easier to walk may actually help people to be more physically active. Dr. Jillian Booth from St. Michael's Hospital and co-authors studied almost 9,000 neighborhoods in southern Ontario, looking at walkability scores along with government health data and survey results during a 12-year period. They examined whether rates of overweight, obesity, and new cases of diabetes were rising more slowly in neighborhoods that were easier to walk in. Rates of overweight and obesity were much lower in the most walkable neighborhoods compared to less walkable ones, and were actually stable over time in the most walkable neighborhoods, whereas they were continuing to increase in less walkable areas. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Rates of diabetes were actually going down, and then at least in terms of the number of new cases, in the most walkable areas, whereas rates were not falling in less walkable areas. Neighborhoods with lower rates of obesity and diabetes also had higher rates of walking, biking, and mass transit use. It doesn't mean that if we build neighborhoods differently that uh, rates of overweight and obesity will fall, um, but it's certainly hopeful and it, it gives us more information and some potential solutions that we can test in the future. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.